Hi, I'm Melissa Lemons. I'm an independent Jamboree consultant, and today I'm going to talk to you about the options and methods for layering your um, Jamboree wraps. There are a couple different styles of wraps that Jamboree offers. First, there are the um, standard designs that are opaque and have a design on them. There are also the um, solids, also opaque, and then you've got some designs that are printed on clear, like Boomerang, um, or the French tips, the French tips. Um, then you've got tinted designs, like Adam's favorite on tint, where it's translucent, so you can see through it. Um, or Joyful Laughter, which is the soft pink with the white bows on it. Again, you can see through it. These give you lots of different options when you layer them. You can wear the tints over your bare nails and it just gives you a little tint of color, but you can see the nail through it. Um, like with the Adam's Favorite, um, it's not that much different from wearing the standard Adam's tint Favorite, but it's a little bit more subtle. Um, you can do the, the designs on clear over um, other over solid wraps like this with the boomerang over grapefruit or I've seen some really awesome combos doing boomerang over um, Prince Charming or Mirror Mirror. Um, it's a really awesome wrap, super popular. Um, one that I'm planning on doing soon is doing actually the Joyful Laughter under the um, the French tips and so this will give me a really feminine kind of classic looking um, manicure. The tint will give just a little bit of a blush to my nail beds and then have the white tip on top. Um, one of the really fun things to do with the tints is to layer them over um, some of the opaque wraps. Like I said, if you put it on your nail, it doesn't look that much different from the original version, just as a little bit, uh, maybe a little more subtle because you can see through it. But the real magic comes when you layer it over um, another wrap. So here I've got the Adam's Favorite layered over black and white quad from the last catalog. Um, we've got lots of black and white designs that would have a similar effect. And then, But what I'm going to do today is do it over Butterfly Kisses, which is this pink sparkly butterfly wing design. And when we put Adam's Favorite over it, then we get this really awesome monarch butterfly kind of effect um, with the added purple. And it's really awesome. I'm going to show you two different methods for uh, applying them as a layer. Um, the first option is to apply the bottom wrap like you normally would, then apply the top wrap on top of it. This is a good option if you need to do a, a more involved application. Maybe you have curvy nails and you need to do pull and stretch or do the baseball method, something where you really need the flexibility to get the wrap to mold around your nail. The other option is to take the top wrap, lay it on top of the bottom wrap on the sheet. Um, uh, uh, rub them really flat, get them to bond, and then apply them as one wrap. This is really good if you want if you're trying to get um, the line up a specific way, maybe you're doing something special with the French tips, like if you're going to do um, a double line French tip, applying it on the sheet first to get them to line up is probably easier. Um, also, good option if you've got a real straightforward application. Um, like I said, I'm going to show both ways, and there we go. So I'm going to show do the tape trick as I do this because I need this when I do sizing and to get the um, wrap to fit around my cuticle at my nail beds because mine are um, a different shape than the bottom edge of the jamberry wraps. So I take a piece of just regular scotch tape and I put it on the back of my hand um, and take it off just to make it a little less sticky so it doesn't um, damage my fingernail. Then I put that on my fingernail and I'm going to use um, I like using a fine point Sharpie. Um, you want something that'll actually write on the tape and I'm going to draw around my cuticle 
and this helps me get the exact shape that I need to make that fit on my nail. And so I'm going to pull that off and then I'm going to figure out which wrap this fits on. And I know for me that I actually need a fairly large wrap for this one. So it's going to go, I think it needs to go there. Maybe there we go. I'm going to put that there on wrap number five and I'm going to trim on my line. This is going to give me a custom fit at the cuticle. Um, and in addition to making it so it fits better, so I don't have it um, on top of my cuticle, which can cause it to lift, it also kind of helps hide the regrowth for longer. Um, when, when I've got it fitted really nicely around my cuticle, as it grows out, it's not as obvious um, that it's growing out until it's really grown out. Um, because it's the right shape and it's following with the shape of my nail. So I've got that cut out and I'm going to peel this up and put it on my orange stick. I like to do it perpendicular like this. It's a little easier for me to steer um, and get it in the right place. I'm going to turn on my heater and that is super, super quiet and gets just the right amount of heat. And I'm going to heat that up just until I see it start to kind of wilt. It gets kind of limp. There we go. And that's when I know that it's lined up right. So then I'm going to take that that bottom edge and I'm going to put it right up next to my cuticle but not touching it. And I maybe let that curl up just a bit too much. There we go. So it's right up to my cuticle but it's not touching it. And then I'm going to Push this down. I've got this a little off center. So since it's a little off center, I can actually reheat it and then lift it and adjust it just a little bit to get that application just right. This is one of the things that I love about Jamberry is that it's really easy to fix it. Okay, so now I've got it where it's not touching my cuticle on either side. Push it down really well with my finger. Use my scissors to trim off the extra, like that. And then I'm gonna put that extra back on the sheet so that I can use it for the same nail on the other hand. I'm going to reheat the wrap and push it down really well with the orange stick all over. Paying close attention to the edges everywhere. Then to get it really, really well bonded, I'm gonna reheat the wrap on my finger. I'm going to heat up this metal um, spoon cuticle pusher. Um, and this gives me some heat and pressure at the same time, which helps me make sure that I'm getting a really, really good seal at the front edge and around my cuticles. So I got the heat and heat and pressure at the same time. Um, it's a heat and pressure activated adhesive, so the more heat and pressure you can use, the better. I'm not going to file off the tip yet until I've put on the second layer so that that can all be done together. Okay, so then I do the second layer the same way. I'm going to actually reuse that um, tape stencil that I made um, because it's for the same finger. And I'm going to put that on the same wrap on my second sheet. Just like that. Cut that out. Okay, take the tape off and then 
apply the wrap. And this one doesn't take very long at all to get warm. And so then line it up with the cuticle. And press it down. Trim the excess off. And then lots of heat and pressure. We want to make sure that the two wraps are bonded very well to each other. Um, that the bottom wrap is bonded very well to the nail. Okay. And then you're going to use the nail file to remove the excess. Just like always, we want to only file straight down, possibly at like a 45 degree angle like this, which will make the wrap piece just slightly shorter than the nail, which means that when you use your fingernails, um, as you do go around doing things, you're less likely to snag the nail wrap and have it left. So I file it a little bit of a 40, of an angle. Um, you need to use a good bit of pressure when you're cutting through two wraps because um, it's thicker. So file that off like that. Make sure I get all of it. And then that's all done. Um, if you want to, you can use a buffer block to get the edge even uh, more smooth. So then the next option is to stack the wraps before you apply them. Um, for my pinky, my pinky is actually a perfect fit for the last one, so I don't need to use the tape trick. If I were going to use the tape trick, I would just put it on after I'd stacked the two wraps. So I know that I need to use the smallest size for my pinky. So I'm going to peel this up. And I'm going to apply this right on top of the other wrap. I'm not using any heat. I'm just laying them on top of each other and then I'm going to use a lot of pressure to bond them to each other. We'll be using more heat and pressure as we apply it later. After I've got those two layered together then I apply it just like it would be if it were a single wrap. Um, peel it up, heat it. It's going to take a little bit longer for it to get heated. Um, you're probably going to want to heat both sides. So you want to activate both layers of adhesive. Um, again, you're looking for it to get kind of limp. Put it right up to the cuticle. Make sure it's straight. Push down with your finger. Make sure that it's all in the right spot. Okay. Trim off the excess. and put that back to use for later. So then reheat and press down. Lots of heat, lots of pressure. Again, those are our friends for a good application. We really wanna make sure we get a good seat.